As far as revenue is concerned, it would seem that the video game industry has more than outpaced the film and music industries in the last few decades. The most obvious improvements related to graphics and gameplay include the ability to seamlessly input complex commands through lifelike animations. Most games rely heavily on a good story and writing to keep the player engaged. This leads to immersing the player further within the world that the developers have created. The focus of this essay is going to be predominantly on video games influencing and changing the landscape of storytelling in the modern world displaying itself as a modern art form. This will be demonstrated through The Last of Us for its contribution to evolving and elevating storytelling's place in the video game world. The Last of Us will be a great example of displaying a complex narrative structure as it is the foundation of the game without merely the inclusion of mission completion and rewards, rather providing the capability of attaining an emotional response and enhanced narrative characteristics through experience-oriented storytelling and immersive entertainment. The landscape of storytelling that is prevalent in video games is based on how the user interacts with the gameplay. Interactivity in storytelling was the key element in elevating narrative games and cementing their status as a modern art form. Craig Lindley said that the idea of gameplay is based on a determined set of rules offered by the game in a pattern of perceptual, cognitive, and motor operations. However, to experience the narrative of a game, it is vital to also understand the narrative gestalt, which is the three-act structure centered on a sequence of events unfolding. Hence, the player must have an interaction with the narrative for it to exist in a game. The ideology showcases the convergence of game mechanics and narrative structure within the games that establish a detailed amount of storytelling. The story of Last of Us focuses on the linear narrative structure and strategically uses tools from conventional entertainment, such as cinematics, character development, and user agency. In addition to that, interactive storytelling is capable of utilizing elements of curiosity, suspense, and optimal task engagement. This is said by Christian Roth, who starts off by curiosity, as it is the essential in the realm of interactive storytelling as it is constantly fluctuating. He says increased curiosity can perform a surge in the psychological activation of the user, similar to when it is reduced. It attributes to a sense of completion for the specific mission. This unification of curiosities provide a high frequency and intensity based effective dynamics. This is evident in The Last of Us, especially when Joel's character is stealthily moving across large surface areas, accumulating objects and tools, and is then usually encountered with apocalyptic creatures that horrifyingly appear, taking the user through the different forms of curiosity. Second is suspense, which is another core element of interactive storytelling as it is a tribute to an emotional component. The game expertly showcases that there are many incidents where the user is faced with suspense, one scene from the game showcases Joel running to safety with his daughter, eventually being confronted by a military soldier. At that moment, the user has multiple thoughts going through their minds. However, those thoughts get disrupted when the soldier kills his daughter and Joel is helplessly crying on the floor. That scene makes users long for a specific outcome and generates concern that these specific outcomes may not occur. This even has a surreal effect on the users as we get to play with the daughter's character for a certain period of time, experiencing her fear and helplessness which creates a bond between the user and the character. Suspense is higher in video games because of the self-reference of the player and identification with the character they become as said by Christian Roth. Thirdly, optimal task engagement is another element by which the users are attempting to resolve a sequence of tasks by making decisions or pushing the plotline. The user is essentially shaping a story by following the defined tasks and challenges presented as they are co-narrating the story. Optimal task engagement is used cleverly throughout the game as it urges the user to follow along with the storyline. Every decision needs to be accomplished efficiently and strategically to progress further or at a moment's notice the character could face death. The surroundings create a sense of engagement that is necessary for the user to carefully listen to and follow, especially with the inclusion of cutscenes that are crucial viewings to understand the plotline. Another concept is the suspension of disbelief, which is used a lot in conventional storytellings, and The Last of Us uses it very well. The idea of a plague virus 
Spreading across the country, creating apocalyptic creatures that rigorously attack human beings sounds unrealistic, although, despite the events in a story being impossible in our world, they must at least be probable and believable as said by Melissa Summerden. She expands by saying the way the game is able to merge and showcase realism and impracticality at the same time through scenes of combat and stealth is breathtaking. One of the most prominent examples of this concept is weaponry. Many of the weapons that are found and collected in the game are from remains and scraps scavenging large areas and using what you find such as shivs, baseball bats, pipes, and planks. A concept that contributes to storytelling in video games is also one that's called morphic resonance. This term was coined by Rupert Sheldrake, and it's the idea that organisms constantly inherit memories, which can then be used to explain epiphanies or moments in which one just simply knows something despite having never experienced it. This is a concept that Melissa Summerden also talks about in her article. The way I have applied this concept to video games and storytelling is through understanding the relationship between the user and the character that they are controlling. In this scenario, when we look at Joel's character, we play like him for the majority of the storyline and begin to understand many of the character and personal traits because we're able to spend time with him. When we first experience a mission with Joel's character, the user approaches it from their perspective, whether that is rushing into dangerous areas where the fatality rate is high or recklessly drawing attention. After a couple of failed attempts and long hours of gameplay, the user begins to dictate and predict movements and combat styles because the memories are constantly being inherited and then simultaneously projected into the various attempts to progress. This is largely due to the user interactivity and the process in which the user is able to subconsciously study the character. This f theory feeds into the popularity of third-person video games and how user interactivity and storytelling allows the players to become part of the narrative similar to co-authoring. This essentially creates a unified experience between the user and the character in the game. The user gets to experience the story through the perspective of the character, which in this case is Joel and Ellie. This adds a layer of deepness and supersedes entertainment models of film and television. An example of this is when the user can play with Ellie as the main character while attempting to save Joel. As the gamer, we have a preconceived notion of how Ellie might perform in a situation as dangerous as that, however, we are left with the unraveling of an individual who is as capable of Joel. This mission provides a sense of bond that we get to experience firsthand as Ellie hugs Joel. After he utters the words, baby girl, we notice a parallel between this scene and the scene earlier in the game between him and his daughter before her death. This showed how memories were able to contextualize his adoration for Ellie as he began to see her as his own daughter. The sense of control and belonging that the user is able to feel between multiple protagonists elevate the immersive experience of the narrative. The distinguishing factor of video game from other mediums is its inherent interactivity that requires users to experience stories and narratives through the lens of the characters they play. The complex narrative structure that The Last of Us is built upon is to showcase how far video games have come in terms of evoking an emotional response and constructing a relationship between the medium and the user. It has cemented itself as a storytelling medium that tells stories in an immersive way, establishing itself as a modern art form. Found the fireflies. <laughs>